So I found this funny and interesting. Um, crying, uh, crying out loud on um, how uh, HH is using the the judiciary to punish them. So right. let's just uh, listen to this. Listen to this. Uh, good morning, and uh, for those of you that are viewing us from different parts of the country, uh, we are addressing you from Wapula Province, uh, Mansa District in particular. Uh, to raise um, issues that uh, we think the Zambian people should be aware of. Uh, one, clearly yesterday in Kawambwa, uh, in our quest to visit our colleague, Honorable Nixon Chilangwa, who is uh, still uh, at Kawambwa prison as a result of um, a bench warrant that was issued against him, uh, even when uh, as it were, it's very clear that the protocol of court is that when one is appearing before the High Court, um, the matters that are before the subordinate court are expected to stand down. Of course, those are matters that will be canvassed uh, before the courts, but uh, what is saddening for us is uh, the alleged collaboration that has on many occasions been confirmed by the Minister of Justice, suggesting that the executive have a tendency of beginning to interfere with the judicial process and giving instructions to both uh, the subordinate court, high court, and now with the pronouncements coming from the Supreme Court sometimes through the Chief Justice, it raises a lot of concern. Those are matters that we're going to address in the future. But what is more uh, saddening this morning is to hear of the instructions that Misaka Indechirem has left behind uh, on his way to Israel uh, to try and create a disruption. Uh, he would want that this week there's a record of those that will be harassed by the police and also arrested and things like that because of the fact that uh, a simple visit of the former head of state to Minga has destabilized him and has caused him to lose uh, his peace. It was a simple uh, uh, exercise of going to join, uh, you know, congregants of the Catholic Church to celebrate the 100 years um, centenary celebration of the Catholic Church in Minga and also 25 years of uh, Bishop um, Lungo having been consecrated to that office. It's very sad that every attempt uh, every moment the patriotic front is, uh, you know, the Zambian people express gratitude and also appreciation of our work when we're in government. The UPN resort to try and start arresting people. It's very sad, but we thought the Zambian people could just be aware and watch the space. Thank you. Honestly, it is really funny. Who could have ever thought? And honestly speaking, like I always say, I'm not a UPND supporter, and I'm neither am I a PF supporter, but why would President HH step so low for somebody that we don't even know very well? Why would he step so low? Yeah, he, has, he, has not, he has not done that with President Lungu. He has, he has not interfered with the law when it comes to President Lungu, whom we expected... Uh, uh, him to have a problem with, you know, whom we expected to send to prison who, after the elections, but he has left him to be in peace. But why would he step so low for somebody that we don't even know, somebody of less significance? Why would he even step that low? Hmm? Our, this, like, Nakachinda is, how can I even explain it? Honestly, he's a Finnish, he's a finished politician. Nakachinda is a finished politician. He has even shaved his hair. Eh? He was like, I will never shave my hair, blah, 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 and my beards. No more power to be an occupier. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, as well as turn on the notification button so that uh, each time I upload, I upload new videos, you will get notified. Um, see you in the next clip.